Do you have any idea what goes into your soda can other than aluminum? Well, the original inspiration for this video comes from an Instagram post on Mel Sciences page where they use a chemical to remove the outer coating of a soda can to expose the secrets within. And I want to try it out for myself. So let's begin. If gadget reviews, DIY projects and life hacks are your thing, then consider subscribing to my booth and turn on the bell notification so you don't miss out on any of the action. Hey guys, welcome back to my booth, Irfan here. I have all the ingredients ready with me which is a soda can, drain cleaner crystals and a glass jar. So the first step will be to sand off the paint from the soda can using sandpaper so the aluminum underneath is exposed to react with the solution. Once that is done, I'm going to pour in some drain cleaner crystals uh, into the glass jar and add room temperature water to it. Mix it nicely so all the crystals have completely dissolved leaving a slightly milky white mixture. Next, I'm going to open the lid of the can, pass through a skewer stick and then use that to suspend it in the glass container. Now as soon as I dip the can in there, you could see the bubbles forming on the surface of the can which means the active ingredient in the drain cleaner which is sodium hydroxide has started reacting with it, wearing out the aluminum. Now sodium hydroxide also known as caustic soda or lye is extremely alkaline and falls at the higher end of the pH scale with a pH value of 13. If it gets in contact with the skin, it can leave burns, so make sure you don't try this at home and if you do, make sure there is necessary protection and adult supervision and the experiment is conducted in an open space or a well-ventilated area. At this stage, the aluminum is reacting with sodium hydroxide to produce hydrogen gas which you can see bubbling off. After about 30 minutes, you can see the solution has turned almost black and the secret ingredient being revealed which is nothing more than a thin film of plastic underneath the aluminum can. Well, now you know your aluminum cans are not just aluminum after all. But the question is, why is it there? Well, most of canned drinks contains chemicals such as citric or phosphoric acid which can react with the aluminum that the cans are made of. So to prevent that, the inner surface of the can is coated with epoxy resins containing bisphenol A, aka the plastic film. It keeps your drinks tasting fresh and you don't get that metallic taste even if the drink was manufactured months ago. So yeah, it's doing you good rather than bad even though if it is doing the planet a lot of bad. Now, if you're concerned about the plastic consumption, well, according to Health Canada, to reach the tolerable limit of bisphenol A, you will have to drink 940 cans per day. So that's it for today, guys. I hope you learned something. And if you liked it, do hit that like button below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to my booth for more gadget reviews, life hacks, and DIYs. Make sure you're following me on Instagram and taking part in the giveaway that is going on on my Instagram page, the link to which is in the description box below. Click on the thumbnails to watch my other videos or check out my YouTube channel for more. And as always, thanks for watching.